If you want to speak fluent in English, you should watch this video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel English Learning Academy. In this lesson, we have 15 different topics and everyone try to speak and explain each topic. To improve your speaking, after each sentence, pause the video and repeat it. So, as you know, time is money. Let's start. My semester, I didn't come here to talk about clothes. Sonia was very well dressed. She had on a jacket and a long dark blue skirt. She was also wearing a yellow blouse. She wasn't carrying a bag, but she did have a small wallet with her. Oh, and I remember she had nice gold earrings. I also remember her shoes. She was wearing black shoes with very high heels. Matt was very casually dressed. He was wearing some really old jeans, you know, the ones with holes in them, with a wide leather belt and a blue shirt with buttons. He had on some boots, too, high brown ones. They looked really nice. He was also wearing glasses. He usually wears a couple of big rings, but he was only wearing one today. You're a little casually dressed. I usually give them my routine on the differences between Mandarin and Cantonese food and get a good tip. Let's see. I get up at 5.15 every morning and go running. Then, after I have a shower and a quick breakfast, I take the subway to work. I usually do some work on the subway. I get to work at 7 in the morning, and I usually work until 8 at night. After I get home, I have dinner. Then I read the newspaper before bed. I usually go to bed about 11 o'clock. I'm pretty busy these days. I get up early, around 6.30, then have breakfast, usually cereal and a big cup of tea. Then I take the bus to school. While I'm on the bus, I usually text my friends. Let's see, I have classes from 9 until 3. After classes, I go home and study for a few hours. Then I have dinner with my family. After dinner, I play video games for an hour or so, then chat with my friends online. Finally, I take a shower, then go to bed. Usually around 10 o'clock. Danny, I told you to go to bed like your sister. I was hanging out in my neighborhood and this girl was jogging. I don't like jogging or doing anything too energetic. I prefer taking walks. I like to take a short walk every day through the park across from my house. Sometimes my boyfriend goes with me. It's nice to talk and look at the flowers and trees. On Sunday, I like to swim, but for only about a half hour. I sleep the rest of the weekend. I am a big soccer fan, but I only watch it on TV. I can't stand playing it. There are great games to watch on weekends. I also enjoy watching tennis. I'd like to learn someday, but I don't like to sweat. I love chess and often play with my younger sister. She's really good at it and usually wins. On weekends, I love to play video games with some of my friends. I like to run around. It's good exercise. I love my family. But the closer you are to your parents, the more space you need from them at a certain point in your life. I enjoy reading. I read a lot of books and I love going to the library. My dad likes outdoor things. He's really into sports and swimming, and he always tells me I should get more interested in sports. 
but mom tells me that reading is the best way to learn. She always gives me books that she's been reading. I'm very interested in computers. I'm always teaching myself new computer programs, and I have a lot of great software. My brother and I spend all our free time in computer stores and online. My sister is more interested in the arts. She likes music and she loves to read. She hates computers. I love my family very much, honey. You could be in some other restaurant with some other woman right now, talking about me that way. I went to a new steak restaurant last night that opened near my house. I love trying new places. To start the meal, I had an interesting appetizer. It was some kind of seafood with a spicy sauce on it. Mmm. The main dish, of course, was steak. It was very small and a little tough, though. However, the vegetables were great. Nice and fresh, but not too oily. The final thing was the best, the dessert. It was apple pie with a lot of ice cream on it. I know that I shouldn't eat so many sweets, but it was delicious. Have you ever tried that seafood restaurant on Main Street? You should. It's great. I go there often. In fact, I went there last weekend. To begin, I had a salad. It was nice and fresh with a great house dressing. My main dish was a fish that I had never tried. I really enjoyed the spices it was cooked in. The vegetables were good, very fresh and tasty. For dessert, I had chocolate cake. It's usually very delicious, but this time it was much too sweet. I couldn't eat more than two bites. That's okay, though, because I'm on a diet. You have a favorite restaurant? I eat anything. Yes? Hi. I'm looking for Mr. Rubin's apartment, but it's all dark out here in the hall, and I'm lost. If you have an old bookshelf you aren't using, I'd be really happy to buy it. I haven't been able to find one that is the right size. All the ones I looked at were too big. Right now, there are books all over the floor and the sofa. But I managed to pick up a TV and MP3 player at a moving sale last weekend. I still need to find a dinner table. All the ones I looked at in the stores were too expensive. I was thinking about getting a bookshelf, but I don't have many books yet, so I guess I can wait. I was lucky. I got a really cheap used TV the other day. It only cost $50, and it works really well. It's nice to have something to watch. Right now, I don't have enough money to buy an MP3 player. The dinner table is very nice and big enough for six people. I bought a cheap sofa too. It's really comfortable. Yeah, apartment living.